Hello, good people of the internet. Things in the Star Wars universe haven't been going pretty well recently because there has been this rumor that the newest movie starring everyone's favorite, Ray Palpatine, Ray Skywalker, starring Ray, is not going to happen, that it's going to be cancelled. And we have been waiting for confirmation for so long, waiting with bated breath, because me personally, I just cannot imagine my future being deprived of this amazing character that Ray turned out to be. Ray who? Ray Skywalker. And thankfully, we finally have the confirmation. The movie is not cancelled. Oh, you have no idea what huge sigh of relief I released when I've heard those news. Because, you know, I was so afraid that we will not see more amazing writing, like, for example, this one. What are you most afraid of? Myself. Because you're a Palpatine. Somehow Palpatine returned. What a twist. Oh my god. What a twist that was. And of course, we can almost be absolutely certain that we were going to have more amazing female characters telling toxic masculinity where is our place and how we should behave around strong independent women just like for example our favorite and completely unforgettable admiral holdo remember that now we're down to one ship and you've told us nothing tell us that we have a plan stick to your post and follow my orders Yes, women like that are very important for modern entertainment. We need more of them. Someone needs to tell men where our place is. Someone needs to call out our toxic masculinity and someone needs to control us. I had situations like this very recently when I approached a woman on a bus standing, but there were so many Three seats, so I just asked her why she's not sitting. Maybe she should sit down. And, well, the rest of the event uh, played out in a very predictable manner. It was something like that. And when I was lying there on a dirty floor of that public transport bus moaning in pain crying i just couldn't abandon that thought that that feeling of gratitude towards that woman she non-verbally has shown me the error of my ways told me with her knee where my place is and i know that we need more of that also on the screen Men, they're only good for one thing. Opening Open jars. jars! So, what do we know about this new Star Wars movie starring, of course, Daisy Ridley in the main role? Well, what we know is that Rey is going to be a great leader of a Jedi Order, as she should be. Uh, well, there were some voices of skepticism claiming that this role should have been Luke's, but don't even start me about Luke Skywalker. 
you know, this guy has betrayed a Jedi Order because he got addicted to some titty milk. How can such a person be a leader of anything, I ask you? We Star Wars fans owe a debt of gratitude to Kathleen Kennedy for showing us what kind of terrible person Luke Skywalker really was. Nobody had known that before the new trilogy was released, but now we get the whole picture. The new movie really needed professionals to work on everything. So we have we have Stephen Knight, very talented writer working on a script. And by the way, don't listen to those gossips that that he quit because of creative differences. I'm pretty certain he probably wanted some men to be much much better than women in that movie or maybe even he wanted to write some weak insecure women into the script which obviously we all know is a huge red flag for modern disney more importantly we have a director charmin obaid chinoy sorry for butchering that name and as far as i know she's perfect for the role first off she ticks so many diversity boxes she is a woman of color she is from pakistan and she is above everything else, an activist. Well, that's true. We still haven't heard much about her idea, what she's going to direct, how the characters of Star Wars are going to behave, uh, what, are go what the plot lines are going to be, stories and everything. But that's not very important. The most important part is that she's an activist and she used to make very important documentaries in Pakistani. And some of these documentaries she made a couple years ago, they made men very uncomfortable. So I'm counting on that. I'm really counting on the newest Star Wars movie to make me uncomfortable as well, because like I told you before, I still have those glimpses of to toxic masculinity in me and those really need to be taken care of. I really have to be turned into a better soy boy because modern entertainment really expects that of me as being a member of the audience of Star Wars. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. And you know what? I just hope, I just hope that they are going to fix some issues that even the new trilogy had, because it did have a couple of hiccups. For example, it's very good that Finn was friend zoned. It's very good that this Kylo Ray romance, this kiss, it was so cringy, so, so unnecessary. Therefore, I believe the best way would be to follow the Panderverse rule. You know what I'm talking about. Put a chicken in, make a lady gay. Exactly. I truly believe that in the next Star Wars movie, Rey Skywalker, Palpatine, Rey is going to make out with Rose Tico character, and because of that, they will really check those sweet, sweet ESG boxes when they come out as at least, I hope, non-binary. So this is what we are going to expect. And I'm really pleased that this masterpiece sooner or later will be done and we will have the pleasure of watching it. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I just cannot wait for this new and improved age of diverse female-oriented Star Wars. Let them come. I will be here and I will be covering these movies one by one.
Till next time, good people of the internet. Cheers! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe, drop a like and press the notification bell so you won't miss anything I upload. And if you didn't enjoy this, well, subscribe anyway. At least you will know when there is a new video to actively hate.